Welcome to another episode of Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic. Third time round, review! <laughs> now, I have attempted to do a review on this camera for twice over. I did it once, but I just just sort of cramming videos in that day and it's just... So I figured, okay, screw that one, I'll redo it. Redid it! Found out that there was a card behind me that had like an address on it and I didn't think to do it on the, you know, it was a race ticket that we get from a certain person and it's his address on the thing so I'm like don't think that would be a good idea so I'll scratch that so this will be the third time around I'll be reviewing the Funai HD digital video camera dun, dun, dun. now again I'm filming on my flip cam love the flip cam but it doesn't do certain things I wish it did. <laughs> it doesn't take still photographs, which you think would be an easy thing to incorporate as a base ability of the unit, but it doesn't do that. And there's no image stabilization whatsoever, which totally sucks. So if you see, you know, a lot of my videos where I'm walking, it's like doingy doingy doingy. So those are the two things I kind of wanted to, you know, have in a camera. So I'm just sort of I have no idea why I was going through, I think it was late at night and I needed something to do and I was just flipping through Amazon or whatever, and I came across this, and it's just an El Cheapo Chinese thing that costs not quite 45 and it was free super saver, saver shipping so it didn't cost any extra than what the actual price was, and there's only one review, <clears throat> and it was from a private investigator who said, you know, this is great for my job, you know? So I'm like, okay, whatever. And it said, you know, image stabilization have a has a 5 megapixel camera in it, which is cool, a still photograph thing. And it also has night vision, which is cool, but totally unnecessary. Because I, my Sony Handycam had night vision, and I think I've only used it once in like the decade that I have it, because there was like raccoons in the backyard. And I had tested that feature out. You still need a good, decent amount of light for it to actually be able to see anything. So it's kind of... I can see a private investigator finding that useful in his particular job, but for me it's just sort of extra cheese, basically. So, you know, I researched things around that same price. Again, I had previously researched and then found the flip cam. And I don't know if I stumbled across this one or not. But, uh... I'm like, you know, all right, I'll try it. And I figured, well, if it's bad, nothing wonderful, since there's so very little information I could find on it, if it's bad, I'll just ship it back to Amazon. So I'm like, well, I'll try it out. And so far, loving it. Now, the quality isn't as good as the flip cam. The color payoff is not as good on this as it is on the flip cam. It's much more true to the color. But this actually does pretty good as far as Im image stabilization. I mean, you don't get the straight pan. It just, instead of going dunk, 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 dunk as you're walking, it sort of smooths it out, which is great. And you'll see that on my graveyard walk video that I'll be posting. And the first, most of it will be on this cam, but the second half of the first video will be on the flip cam, and you can really tell the difference, which surprised the heck out of me. So, <clears throat> it has on off button and a charge button and the charge isn't too too bad this is an integrated battery which I'm not entirely thrilled with but since I had the flip cam I do have something to back up but the I mean what I've filmed so far takes about an hour at least as far as my tour of the graveyard you'll see so it's you know decent <clears throat> but you can't charge it through like a plug you have to charge it through your computer, which is, you know, m most things are anyway. And th there's always a computer <laughs> plugged in somewhere, so <laughs> that's usually not a problem here. Um, the only problem is there's no, like, indication when it's fully charged. They say a minimum of three hours, but no more than 12. You have your play button, your movie, I don't know if you can see this, your movie still photo button, your delete button, and your menu button. Now, on the flip cam, zoom, you zoom up, you hit the up, you zoom down, you hit the down. 
this one's different. But then I realized it's not really a menu. The display that shows the zoom on the flip cam is vertical, where this is horizontal. So it kind of makes more sense where you'd flip it left and right to zoom instead of up and down. But I'm so used to the flip cam, of course, I guess that's why I'm like, where the hell do I zoom? And the zoom isn't too, too bad. It does blur when you're like right at the top of the zoom. So if you zoom halfway, maybe a little more halfway, it's okay. It has, and this is your switch to turn it from, I'm like way over here, can you even see this? The night vision regular video mode is right here on a separate switch. Your AV. Now, does anybody even know what these HDMI cords are for? What do, what do you plug this into? The AV is for your TV. What the hell is the HDMI for? <laughs> and they never come with that particular cord. It comes with the AV cord. This one, yeah, I think this one did. Um, so, why is it there? I, I have no idea. Tripod mount, which is good. I don't, I don't plan on vlogging with this particular one. I'll use my flip cam, but nice to have that option. And this has an integrated memory but it's like non-existent I don't remember what the hell the integrated memory was I thought it was four I don't know but it comes with expandable memory what the flip cam doesn't and this actually came with a one gig card never said it would I mean so it was like oh cool <laughs> so I was incredibly impressed with that and the funny thing was I had gotten an eight gig card for my Wii but it doesn't do what I was kind of hoping it would do, so, like kind of work like a thumb drive type of thing, but I think Nintendo would do that. But, uh, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll stick the one gig in the Wii, and then I put the eight gig in the car, the camera, so it worked out fine, so it wasn't anything, I think it'd be like five bucks or something for the card, I mean, so it was pretty good. It's just, and it's the micro SD card. And the new toy that I might be getting if they ever ship it out, <laughs> The thing with Amazon, it actually takes them longer for the company to ship it out than it actually does once they've shipped it to get to you. <laughs> so I'm still waiting on the thing I'll probably do an unboxing for or something. So I'll probably end up stealing an SD card from probably from my ebook because I don't really use that much memory. I can just stuff it on the internal memory, which is a four gig, and then I added a four gig. So there's still a card that might be used in other things. So that's the long wooden story there. And this is different than the flip cam. The flip cam, you push down a little lever and the USB thing pops out. This has two levers. You open up the door on the top and then you push up the slider on the bottom to reveal the USB, which is kind of a nifty idea because it's you know out of the way and you don't actually pop it out or anything like that, but it's kind of annoying because I'm really that lazy. And again, this is not something, this is even more awkward than the flip cam because to put it in your, see that one, this computer goes this way for the USB ports, the other one it goes this way, but you're still got the weight of the camera, so definitely if you get any, any type of pocket cam with this type of connection, invest in a cord, in a, I don't know if there's a fancy term for it, but a USB to USB, so you plug it into your computer and you have your cord so you can lay it down, that way the weight of the camera isn't hanging off the port. And I found one for like not even two dollars and fifty cents, I think through Walmart online. And the six foot cord was actually cheaper than the three foot. I only needed three feet three foot, so I've got like this massive length of cord. But it was it's definitely worth the investment. And you can fork out a few extra bucks for that. Now there is no audio headphone jack thing, and I don't think there is any other one. For like playback. The playback is kinda huh? So, I bet it's okay, you know. Now, there's some interesting features on this. Let's see. Do I have enough juice to turn it on? No. You have to hold it for a second to turn it on, which is kind of annoying. You turn the flip cam on instantly, it does its thing. Now, there's different settings for this. That I filmed the first half of my graveyard walk in sports HD, and I've filmed the second half in just plain HD to see if we'll see if there's any difference between the bounce. And it gives you about the same amount of time. And this is VGA and it gives me 43 minutes left because I've still got the video on here. It has QVGA 
which gives me two hours and 34 minutes left. But when there's nothing on there, it was like eight hours and something, <laughs> which would be good, but I'm pretty sure the battery doesn't last as long as what it says the video does. So I'm not sure. I should try, probably, I thought I did that, compare the different videos and the different qualities. High speed, which supposedly, if you film something, you can like slow it down. You know, those old things where you, you would like put a drop in a thing of milk and if you film it, you'd see the splatters going up in slow-mo. It's similar to that. At least that's what they say it does. So I haven't quite tested that yet, so I don't know. And it's giving me 43 minutes left. Full HD, I only have 17 minutes left. I haven't filmed too much on Full HD because it is such a bigger file, I guess. <laughs> Sports HD is again 17 minutes left. And that's... Full HD is pretty much for like what I'm doing now, just sitting here babbling on incoherently. Sports HD is more for when you're like walking and doing various stuff. And then back to original HD. And the weird thing with this is that there's a function and you know if you're going to the city or something and a lot of times it's instinctive to want to film this way because a lot of the camera is see I'll just turn it off because I don't need to do that because a lot of the cameras now are like landscape but so you can't fit a, like a tall object in the camera you want to tip it this way to get it in vertical well a lot of times Maybe like the more expensive cameras will do this automatically, but the flip cam doesn't. It'll come back, you know, when you post it sideways. But I think, I think I did at one point discover how to like write it in the various programs that you use. But this one has a function that adapts for it on the camera. But the weird thing is, you have to hit the delete button quickly twice <laughs> for it to adjust, and it'll show you. It'll look upside down. So when you film like this, it'll record when you put it when you download it to your computer, it'll show right side up. So it's nice that the function is on the camera, but it's a weird way to get to it. I mean, any why of all buttons the delete button, <laughs> especially when you're paranoid like me. It's like why is this not in the menu button where you could like, you know, that the menu pretty much just shows you you can record in black and white and sepia and all that stuff. Uh, see what other functions are there. I think that's pretty much it. It goes up to five um, gigabytes of you know, snap camera pictures. Like the video, it gives you different um, qualities. So the lesser the quality, the more pictures you can fit on the card and the higher, you know, up to five gig. No, five megapixels. You know, so you have different qualities and different sizes for the snap camera as well. And I'm really liking this camera, and it seems so. It seems funny to me because the flip cam is a lot heftier, but then you've got the extra weight of the batteries. This is the integrated battery, so it feels so much cheaper in my hand. <laughs> so it's a very light, you know. It's not something you want to like drop or anything like that. It's a very. It feels a lot more delicate, but um, it's a good little camera. The the color quality isn't too great, but then I've seen. A difference in the various there's a difference in the different programs you use to play it so I don't know if it's just the camera or you know things like that but it's I mean it's good enough quality I suppose you could you know adjust it if you're that picky but the thing I hate passionately about this camera isn't the camera itself it's not the hardware or anything like that it's the software it comes with now the flip cam comes with flip share which is okay but you know, you kind of have to do a few extra steps to ship it, the uh, files straight to your computer instead of the library they have set up, which, you know, gets lost in the abyss of your computer. But once you, you know, figure out how to do it and get around it, it's no problem. And it's a fairly decent, you know, enough to get it from one place to another. You really can't edit anything with that particular program. But, you know, like I said, it gets it from the camera to the computer and whatever. This thing doesn't. It comes with hmm, ArcSoft Media Impression. I'm not impressed with Impression. Now I've done things with ArcSoft Photo Impression, which isn't too bad. <laughs> and what was the tagline for the Media Impression? Quickly download and edit your videos and do something wonderful with them. I don't know. 
not true in the flipping least. You can, <laughs> as far as getting it from the camera to the computer, all right, fine. That's about as good as it gets. The thing is, the flip cam saves in the real player f um, format there, which I can't remember what it is offhand. This goes and records it in an MOV move file. Who the hell uses this file? You have to have like a DivX player to actually play it. So what I found, and I've you can get this on free online, it's any video con converter. I have to convert the move files to WMV or the real player files to do anything with them but with any of the software that I already have to edit them because you can't edit diddly squat in the stupid media impression and I, I tried that took like all evening to just do that much and once the video was finally finished after a day no it wasn't even a day it was two days two days two increments of 20 now, unless you're like Father Time and live forever, how is two days quickly, or, you know, a quick editing process? <sighs> so, I hate that. So basically, that's the only thing that sucks about that particular camera. And, like I said, it is a Funai, so it's just a Japanese little doofliki, Japanese or Chinese. I think it's made in China. Made in China, yep. Digital video camera. Ooh, okay. I'm wondering here. Gives you the battery DC 3 7 volt and it's held in by a screw. So I'm wondering if the battery does die, you can replace it somehow? Maybe. That'd, that'd be kind of nice. Um, it's nice, light in your hand. And I've found though, in some of my videos, for some weird reason, does anybody know why? Lately, the media, let's see, what is it? Windows Media Live Player or something like that. The newest version of the video editor does not want to work. When you play your videos, you know, as you're editing them, it'll get all pixelated and weird. And I don't know if it fixed it. I don't even think it fixed it. It only seemed to have happened when Adobe wanted to force you into their newest upgrade which for some weird reason is a piece of crap because YouTube pl videos won't play you have to have nine or ten so that the new Adobe upgrade screws everything up so it also screwed up my Windows Live Media player which will save things in high def so the quality remains the same but I've had to kinda of go back to the previous version of Windows Media Editor there so when you save it, it saves it in a crappy format, even though I've, you know, save it into this, the same file format, like high def or whatever I've recorded on. So it saves in a lot less quality, so. But I don't know if it's any better if you change your YouTube quality to kind of match it, so I don't know. So if anybody knows what the hell is going on, do tell. So that is my review on the Funai Pocket Cam found on Amazon.com for about $45, and it is free Super Saver shipping, which is really hard to say. And any questions? or and, and also, when you see it on the, you know, when you go to buy it, there's lots of pictures of every conceivable angle, which was a total plus, of all the ports, and it's like this angle, that angle, both sides. A lot of times it's just the front, and it's like, okay, I'd like to see what ports they have, so that was definite plus. And also, when I went to buy it, I didn't necessarily mean to buy it. I was expecting a whole nother page. Okay, I put it in my cart, you know, piddled around, see if I could find anything better. It's like, okay, go to my cart, go to the various screens, and expected to see the screen where you can review, okay, what the shipping is, this, that, and the other thing. Hit next, and it goes, you have bought Funai. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you didn't t it didn't even ask me for, like, the, um credit card number or whatever the heck which pisses me off why Amazon doesn't use PayPal I've yet to know because that would be so much easier but uh, I'm like okay I guess I bought this then so <laughs> so keep an eye out for that alright rate comment 
subscribe and they'll be hopefully by the time it gets to me I will have an unboxing of another goodie which does have a camera but isn't a camera <laughs> so hopefully I am set for cameras I'll see you next time